What's up, Vortex Nation? This is the first 10-minute talk. This means that we're going to pick a subject. Hopefully, it's mildly entertaining and talk about it for 10 minutes. You can watch it on YouTube. You can watch it and listen to it and whatever on the normal stuff. But literally at 10 minutes, we are going to have a hard cut. There is a shot clock I'm staring at right now that MC Ryan has started. And already we've wasted 15 seconds. Yep. 20 seconds. We're going to talk about, we have Eric, Mark, myself, Jimmy. We're going to talk about turkey vests versus just wearing a backpack out there when you're out turkey hunting this spring. No, totally. Now, there's a lot of options. There's a lot of different ways you can go. We've got a lot of stuff on this table right now, so I do suggest yes. that you're watching on YouTube because that's really the only way you're going to understand what's going on. And it's only 10 minutes. Okay, so let me get Jason, uh, Jameson's 870 out of the way, which, by the way, Mark, Jameson got an 870 before you got an AR. Uh, that's fine. I don't like Shots Jameson's fired. a total city Seven boy, and he's things. already going to go turkey hunting with his new 870. Anyway. You just used up 17 minutes. Okay, here's <laughs> the deal. I've used turkey vests for... Ever. I've had a turkey vest problem. This is only a smattering of the turkey vest that I've ever had. This one's actually Eric's, not mine. Right. There's now, only one up here that's actually yours. The last couple of <laughs> years, I have transitioned to a backpack. Now, okay. that said, I still have not found the perfect solution. That's yeah. why I own 72 turkey vests and 17 backpacks, and I still haven't figured out which is the best one. However, I do have some things that I like about both systems. The ter- wearing a turkey vest is like, it's like wearing a backpack, but all around you. Yeah. And on the front. And key on, the, on front. the front. Yeah, the key is there. So why would one want a turkey uh, vest versus a backpack? <sighs> I feel like people like the ve- the the vest because it's a it's a you grab this, you go to the woods, you got everything right here. Literally, I can go home, throw on camo, have this in my truck, or just grab it, put throw it in the truck, and we're ready to go. It's a, does it have anything on the back? Uh, it does have a seat on the back. You okay, so it has a off. seat on the back. It's it literally looks like it's like somebody just took a backpack and removed the pack yep. portion on the back of it, but then took those big sternum straps and made them huge and have pockets on them and then yep. go around and clip them in the front and then it has a seat on the butt. Do you know what this is perfect for going to the game? It is. You sit you put your seat down, you put it on those metal bleachers, and then you hold all your beers in these pockets. Yeah. Plenty of room for snacks, refreshments. Yeah. Mark, yep. you're big on the snacks. You snack a lot when you hunt. In fact, I have a hard time. The, lo- the times I've hunted with you, you've been like, hey, hey I got these granola bars. Yeah, sna- I, snack I strong, stay almost, strong. Well, I almost never snack. But when you start waving these honey and oat granola bars in front of me, I start snacking. I can't stop. I think it's good. you got to maintain that energy in the field. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about these turkey vests as well because – what they offer, they offer a lot of specialized compartments. I mean, they yep. are purpose-built to hold a variety of turkey calls, your box calls, your slate calls, even maybe some special pockets for your diaphragm yep. calls, uh, shotgun shells, strikers, things like that. The other thing that's super nice about a turkey vest is that all these pockets are up front. Unlike with the backpack system, most of your pockets are going to be on the back. So yep. you, right, you right. get in a situation where you get a bird fired up, maybe you uh, spot a bird and you need to sit down quick, you might not have time to access these pockets yep. that are on the back. That said, a backpack, in my opinion, is going to be more comfortable, particularly if you're going to be going a little bit longer distances, staying a little bit deeper. Um, not that you're ever really going, I, I'd say, as a rule, you're not going that far that deep. Right. It's not like some crazy backcountry elk hunt. That said, if you want to carry a water bladder, uh, a little bit of extra food, uh, you want an ultra comfortable way to, to haul your bird out of the woods. A but this can do can that be too. A plus. Yeah, how does this? It's not oh, okay. as comfortable. Look at Rick. It's not so as these, comfortable. So these pop out with the Cab- the Cabela's the turkey vest. I don't turkey know, like, tater five thousand. Everything Cabela's is complete ultimate. with toilet paper. Every, so oh, that's it, still good. Yeah, it sticks is. Sticks and all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you just throw your bird in the back of here. Yeah, but right, no, now my my where I yeah exactly <laughs> where I start to question myself using a turkey vest is you put all this money in a backpack. A frame pack is, you know, going to run you a couple hundred dollars, you know, $200 minimum, I would say. If you're spending $130 on a turkey vest, you have a really, really nice turkey vest. This thing, I think, was 60 bucks, and I have a perfectly capable frame pack sitting in my garage, you know. Yep. But if I'm not using that, it's it's of no use, but I can't bring myself to use it for the reason that everything is on your back. When you're running gun turkey hunting, you want to have those calls up front, walk to the next ridge, pull out your slate call, 
See, to yep. me, the turkey vest makes the most sense. But, Mark, you said that you've transitioned more towards the backpack as of late. Is it just to carry more oats and honey granola bars? <sighs> okay, you got me, Jim. Yeah, that's absolutely <laughs> it. Uh, that's the sole purpose. This is the biggest backpack. This is bigger than my backpack I took out west to go hunting in Nebraska with It's you. actually pretty much the same size. Is but, it really? Okay, it, so now, and, I, and I will say this. It's been part of maybe a little bit of experimentation. So this is a big backpack, right? Um, you know, I've uh, elk hunted in this thing. Oh, I've, wait, it I've just deer got hunted smaller. in it. You just um, pulled, okay, that so, looked yeah. like it was part of the system. But um, the reason I... The reason I tried it a couple years in a row is I like the fact that I had my hydration bladder so I could carry plenty of water with me. It's got a big enough um, bag that, as you can see, I've got a, a, a turkey decoy in here, but I can fit my whole turkey decoy this in there, no problem. This is a different problem. bag now that you have an entire yep. turkey decoy in. Okay. So I so I actually do use you know the entire volume of, of this back area when I carry my decoy. Um, How do you carry a turkey thing uh, decoy out with you when you have a vest? You just, I just, just they you come just in this. I literally have the same kind of like decoy. when you're carrying in all your crap into the office in the morning. Just or like this. Just... Throw it right over the back. That's the most old school looking like satchel Indiana Jones over the shoulder bag I've ever seen. Good thing is you can put camp in this. So yeah, I mean, okay. <laughs> if, if you're going on you backcountry turkey, your life in there. This yeah. is definitely the way to go. Um, this lid does detach if you want to, but again, like I said. The, it's not like I said in the start. I haven't developed a foolproof system because of the scenarios that we talked about. I actually carry this and this. Wow! Oh my gosh, that's so much stuff, Mark. But because because I grab, I was shoving this in the top of that, and then when I'd sit down, I'd try and grab it or just carry it with me. Honestly, it was kind of cumbersome. There were some things that I did like about having the full-on backpack, and part right. of that just was the way it carried weight. Yep. And the comfort. Now, folks, we should point this out, too, that if you know Mark well, you know that Mark is a man of excess. Every hunt Mark goes on, he loads his entire back truck up with, I'm pretty sure, something that's bigger than anything Yeti has ever made for a cooler. Like, mm -hmm. their 120 or 2 whatever doesn't, it pales in comparison to this, this like, miniature, I don't even know, building that you put in the back of your truck to hold things. And is that so comfortable? It, it makes yeah. sense. Look at you. Okay, Eric's got his vest on with this over the shoulder Indiana Jones satchel yep. with a decoy in it. This is Mark, what I've that always looks done. So much. So what? Okay, you're a man of excess. So you like the backpack for some reasons. But what do you like about the? You said a couple things nice about the turkey vest. But now I'm I'm questioning. You can't be ultra excessive with it. So what? Why would you ever wear one? Because you, you the, personally, why would you personally ever wear one? Well, Jim, that's why I wore this one for a number of years, and actually, I tried to modify it, and I kind of broke it. So this is kind of a hybrid <laughs> system. <laughs> oh, the truth. <laughs> okay, so this is a so th pack. this is they don't make this anymore, so don't go try and buy it. Oh, I don't sorry, think, but this guys. is the I believe it was the Cabela's it, Ultimate Turkey Vest. It, now the yep, nice thing about it, Cabela's is Ultimate. Now the nice thing about this one was it does have a seat pad if you want it. I never use my seat pad. I probably should. I just never do. With do any you, turkey vest I've ever had, I never use my seat. You pad. use that big old honking butt pad there. If I'm there? sitting there for a long time, I'll flip it out because it's literally that easy. Your oh, system is that. nice. Was... I've had some systems where you kind of gotta flip it down, yeah. and it's like kind of a pain. Kind of weird. Yeah. Um. So this guy, two giant pockets up front. Well, there were two until I. Tried to do some things. Oh, this is that's the part where you broke it. And in fact, I need to go find the other one of these because I'm going to try and get it back together. Um, I might need Unbreak your help, Jim. It. So you kind of had <laughs> the, the volume here. Just, throwing, AKA, just give it to Ryan Muckner and have him fix it. Actually, that's a really good idea. So I, I had, knew you'd do that. In the main compartment here, had some volume. If you want to throw in some rain gear, maybe a few uh, so, extra honey and oats, you got the room for that. You've also got this back pocket or the big pouch here where you can huck your decoy or bird if you kill it. Um, another big pocket here for assorted turkey calls and stuff you want to take with you. And then really the ones that I used the most were these big pouches. The up ones front. on the front. Right. That, that are, you that, The parts that make it look and function exactly like a turkey vest. So loved everything about this thing except uh, it got heavy because I put too many things in it, but it also didn't have One a, minute warning. a proper hip belt, and therefore it was uncomfortable when I loaded it up. Oh, you and like to the move hip around belt. You wear the hip belt, like I think, that. on your EDC. You wear I'm, the hip belt in. Occasionally. Yeah. So, okay, but that is like a hybrid. It's like a backpack on the back, turkey vest in the front. Yeah. yeah. We have 40 seconds. This would be a super minimalist way to go, even though is I carry this. Is that a backpack? Look at it's that. It's a purse. It's like a, it's like a purse with yeah, little multi-cam kind of straps. But you're not going to carry, you know, you're talking about water you and carry your stuff. decoy I mean, in this that is thing. a call bag right now. Your checkbook. You have all your calls in that thing? 
I'm yeah, going to throw, throw out my bottom line. Like I said before. 23 seconds. Haven't come out with a uh, perfect system yet. I welcome anybody to tell yep. me what the perfect system is because I've tried picks. all these things. I own, Like I said, I own 72 Turkey Vests. I still haven't found the right turkey one. Turkey Vests is a grab-and-go solution. Grab it, put it in your truck, you go, you hunt, you shoot a bird, you're done. Boom. If we missed anything, comment below on YouTube or on our Instagram page. We want to hear it. We'll do more 10-minute talks. Thanks.